they have bought the Euro Western Anglo American idealization of the patriarchal nuclear family, um, patriarchal marriage and patriarchal nuclear family for me. Yes. We have yes. bought that hook, line, and sinker. It so is bullshit. For me, for me, we have to take the analysis a step behind even where you are now. What's wrong with a Black woman being strong? What is wrong with that? That's not all we are. We're not always strong every moment of our lives. Nope. But who told you something was wrong with that? Yes. Who, who is defining your, your the psychology of your desire? Mm -hmm. And that's the other thing that we miss. This system, part of what I'm documenting here in terms of systemic and structural factors that undo Black love or opportunities for Black love in this country historically, is also this, because after slavery, it was very important. This was intentional on the yes. part of the US government. It was very important to re-socialize African descendants mm -hmm. into a marriage system that they understood to be proper, Yep. Revealed, biblically revealed in the Bible, yep. which is not true, by the way, but yes. you know, I'll get to that in, yes. in book two. Biblically revealed by the Bible um, and um, patriarchal, heteropatriarchal. There is no doubt about it. That is a structure. And in that structure, men, women take men's last names, never did that in Africa. The mm -hmm. pi private domain is the, uh, the domain of the woman, never was the case in Africa. Nope. Um, the public domain is a domain of the man, never was the case in Africa. There nope. was no such thing as assigning bodies to spaces in that mm -hmm. way in African yeah. context. This is very much a Western thing. Yeah. And even the overemphasis of gender and gender differences is very Western. And the reason it is, is because of the way women were viewed as property in, yes. in Western lineage, that yeah. women are the property and men inherit the property. And there's a clear division. So what they were, what they rewarded Black men for, Black families for, was a male-headed household Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to remind you, I don't know if you remember this part, but I want you to remember it. A male-headed household, patriarchal male-headed household, where mm -hmm. the man controlled the labor of the household, whether the woman was going to work, and if she did, where she worked, he controlled the money she earned, yep. and money or labor labor that the children would would, would, uh, would earn as well. Mm -hmm. All contracts coming through the household. Right. Sure, they did, but they didn't start out that way. They were, It wasn't oh. based on that. Right. Mm -mm. And so mm -mm. even we're not even oriented to that in the West. Yes. <laughs> you know? Right. Right. And it's, it's like 